Hi and welcome to day three at DSCI Japan 2023. Today I'm just gonna walk around the show floor and point out to some of the interesting products on display. Marley is showcasing two ship models, uh, the F-110 for the Spanish Navy as well as the CSC Canadian Surface Combatant for the Royal Canadian Navy. Both vessels feature uh, Aegis system, common source library, as well as the Spy 7 radar. Speaking of the radar, so Lockheed Martin is also showcasing uh, these two models. So this is a full scale of a sub-assembly suite for the Spy 7, and this is a scale model of a Spy 7 array with uh, a scale model of a sub-assembly suite inside. Lockheed Martin in Japan is involved in uh, the program called Aegis System Equipped Vessel. So those are two large vessels that will be fitted with a Spy 7 and Aegis uh, system. The Spy 7 arrays were originally designed to be fitted on the Aegis Ashore system and the Japanese government has decided to, in the end, put those radar arrays on board a large ship. <laughs> We are now on the booth of British ship design company BMT Group with uh, General Tommy Sun. General, good morning. Good morning. So you are showcasing the scale model of the Cayman uh, landing craft. There's a program in uh, Japan to provide uh, such vessel to the amphibious brigade of the JGSDF. Can you please tell us more? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh... So far, uh, the Japan Ground Strike Defense Force uh, didn't have uh, this type of uh, small landing craft. But, uh, uh, well, the situation around Japan is now getting harder and harder. So, uh, uh, in order to defend our island, small island in the southern part of Japan, uh, the Ground Strike Defense Force needs this type of ship in the near future. So with this uh, type of landing craft, uh, Japanese forces would be able to deploy equipment and vehicles to the remote islands? Uh, yes. Uh, now the Japanese Ground Strike Defense Force has already uh, deployed some troops in the remote island, but uh, in case of emergency, Ground Strike Defense Force have to enforce existing troops and these type of ships uh, can uh, deploy troops mm -hmm. or supplies mm -hmm. and ammunition. Also, for example, uh, Type 12 uh, SSM? Well, I suppose the SSM and uh, surface-to-air missile mm -hmm. will be the uh, very important uh, loading mm -hmm. for this ship. When uh, do you expect uh, an order for this? Well, the uh, Japanese government has issued the important uh, document last December and uh, they clearly said uh, they will purchase this type of ship in five years. Okay. Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Patria of Finland is showcasing uh, for the first time a full-size model of the Sonak ACS uh, acoustic sweep. Uh, so you see it's a pretty big device, it's uh, uh, intended to be towed by a minesweeping ship. Uh, it is fitted with uh, hydrophones here to reproduce uh, pre-recorded sounds of uh, surface ships in order to trigger uh, sea mines uh, that are triggered by uh, acoustic signature of uh, ships. This system has been selected by uh, Belgium and the Netherlands in uh, the frame of the RMCM uh, mine warfare program. This is the display of naval systems by French company Safran Electronics and Defense uh, on the booth of their Japanese uh, partner Toyo. So they are displaying uh, decoy launching systems. Uh, we learned that uh, the JMSDF is, uh, has a requirement to equip about like 20 to 30 ships uh, with uh, decoy launching systems for uh, next generation decoys including uh, like uh, 
EWD coils such as uh, corner reflectors. So this is the NGDS. It's already in use with several navies, including the French Navy, uh, or the Republic of Singapore Navy. Uh, the formidable class is fitted with this one known as Type A. Uh, for here, they're pitching the Type D, so it comes in this uh, configuration. It is a modular system. It can accommodate uh, next-generation decoys such as uh, off-board active uh, decoys. Safran is also so showcasing its uh, INS, inertial navigation systems. Uh, we learned that uh, they are pitching the Black Onyx. It is a very advanced INS for submarine applications. Safran is also known for its uh, optronic mast, surveillance and uh, attack mast. Uh, these ones are fitted on board uh, the Barracuda type SSN of the French Navy. The, upgrade of the SSBNs and the future SSBN of the French Navy, on board the A26 in Sweden, uh, on board the KSS-3 in South Korea. So this is uh, fairly promising. And these are the optronic system for surface vessel, so Paseo XLR, fitted on board the FDI, next generation frigate of the French Navy, on board the BRF, uh, supply ship of the French Navy as well. And uh, they are pitching it for several other uh, export programs. This is a Vampire NG, uh, or EOMS NG, which is uh, successful uh, for export. And uh, the VG4, this one was unveiled at Euronaval. Uh, it is the latest variant of the VG family, featuring a rear camera. Uh, the VG Mark II has been selected here in Japan to be fitted on board the Ibiki class uh, ocean surveillance ship of the JMSDF. Shinmaya, an aircraft manufacturer from Japan, is showcasing the US-2 seaplane. So this is used by the JMSDF. They have such such uh, seaplanes. They use them for search and rescue, cargo delivery at sea, as well as, uh, as uh, the support of special forces. Shinmaya is also discussing uh, with the US uh, AFSOC, uh, Air Force Special Operation Command, for a number of those seaplanes, uh, but uh, US SOCOM is also looking at a seaplane variant of uh, C-130 known as uh, MAC. Uh, a lot of people uh, are arguing that uh, this is available today, doesn't need any development, and it would make much more sense for the US to procure the US-2. Last but not least, at the SCI Japan 2023, Kawasaki is showcasing uh, this interesting display, so it's the battery packs, nickel metal hybrid battery for uh, some kind of EMOLS catapult. The illustration shows a uh, Izumo class launching F-35C. So the company is working on the technology to develop a Japanese EMOL system. This was our coverage of DSCI Japan 2023. Thank you for watching. Sayonara. <laughs>